According to the Communication Commission of Kenya, only 2% of Kenyans subscribe to broadband services. It's also estimated over 60% of Kenyans in rural areas do not have access to internet services. If you think about it, over the last five years, there's a lot that the government has done. A lot of investment has been made around broadband, uh, whereby we have a lot of broadband available in Kenya today. But if you look a little deeper in it, you begin to realize it's really bound to cities and towns and things like those. And there's very little by way of penetration of broadband in the remote locations, thereby excluding 80% of the population. To tap into this gap, technology giant Microsoft and a public-private partnership with Indigo Telecom and Kenyan government have launched a low-cost, solar-powered and high-speed internet access to rural areas dubbed Mawingu Swahili for cloud. This technology, think about it as Wi-Fi that you're familiar with in your office or uh, if you're like at home, uh, whereby you have connectivity on a Wi-Fi device. Think about this as super Wi-Fi, whereas Wi-Fi today will probably give you something like a 100 to 200 meters range. This gives you 10 kilometers range. As you can imagine, people in rural Kenya who don't have running water or electricity, the idea of bringing internet might be stranger than witchcraft. But the real power of Mwingu is the fact that we're delivering power first. We're giving them solar powers, batteries, controllers, and then a white space radio that allows them to be connected as well. So we're giving them a power utility supported by an internet node that gives them connectivity, power and the ability to communicate with the rest of the country and the world at large. Ongoing migration from analog to digital signal will see the use of TV white spaces technology in internet access. Mawingo project will utilize these spaces and will reach over 6,000 people in the pilot phase. The reach is enormous. Africa, because of its size and its, and its infrastructure, lack of infrastructure means the reach is very tough to get to. This brand new technology allows us to have that reach that we've never had before. And the investment starts as a micro site. So as the opportunity grows, the investment will grow as well. ICT is estimated to contribute over 10% to Kenya's GDP annually. The rollout of such technology-based initiative is a step towards economic empowerment of Kenyans, especially those in rural areas. I think we'll look back in 10 years' time and see Mawingu as the birth of knowledge, information, technology and opportunity, taking Africa from the dark continent to the forerunner of the world.